one of the things that you bring up right at the beginning is that you say that the grand narratives that we used to uh, identify with the the root cause of this crowd derangement is the mm. collapse of all of our grand narratives. Yes. Why, why has that enabled this this broader situation that we're seeing in front of us? Because this crosses all of the. It's enabled the gay, the trans, the the, the race discussions to yeah. be so sort of visceral. So my my feeling is that we uh, look there's something incredibly deep has happened underneath our societies, which we're in, if not in denial about, we don't face up to, which is. We're, we're living at a stage where we might be among the first people in human history to have absolutely no explanation for what we're doing here and no story to tell about what we should do other than I know there are narratives, they're pretty weak ones, and accumulate as much money as you can and enjoy yourself. There's one. <laughs> Gain some Twitter followers. Yeah, it's, it's not the worst idea in human history but it's a it's a fairly shallow one uh as i say i mean this this paucity of ideas and i say it's uh it's obviously the consequence of the collapse of religion which is pretty much an irreversible issue now and the collapse of organized religion the collapse of all major political ideologies in the 20th century other than the, the present structure which is a you know probably a liberal state of the capitalist economy uh, and I think that in the last 10 years, basically in the wake of the 2008 financial crash, w w a lot of confidence, self-confidence was lost in capitalism, mm -hmm. which is, I think, a disaster in all sorts of ways, because it's, um, uh, you know, as like Churchill famous said of said, famously said about democracy, it's the worst system apart from all of the others. And uh, and we've so we're in this strange position where we've really run out of things to believe in and we sort of pretend that well just find your own meaning in the world and that's one of the reasons why as i say i mean i think that it's very understandable that people then get caught up in in new uh, uh, ideologies of this and my view is that the social justice movement intersectionality all this stuff is a version of uh, it's a it's a way to give life meaning and the problem with it among other things is that all of these things, equal rights for women, equal rights for sexual minorities, equal rights for racial minorities, and so on, are very good things, and they are the products of liberal rights. But we've tried to, instead of being the products of them, it's like we've flipped the whole bar stool around and trying to sit on the products of the right. And it, it, it doesn't support itself, because as I, as I show in each chapter, each of these, not only are each of these things gay relations between sexes race and trans not only are they going against each other in very interesting ways uh trans against women trans against gay and so on but but they each in themselves are more unstable than we're willing to admit so for instance we still don't know very much about being gay we don't know quite what causes it and there's been a study that's just come out since my book came out which sort of vindicates what i say which is that it's a bit more it's a bit more complex than we than we we pretend relations between the sexes uh, and our attitudes as a society towards women in particular are very contradictory and we pretend they're not so we pretend that women are simultaneously exactly the same as men and magically better on occasion <laughs> And we just decided to hold that idea. And with race, we are very, very unsure for good reasons, for good reasons, because who wants to open that up, really? Well, a lot of people, it turns out. But I explain why I think that's going to be risky. And then you have the trans one. And that's just really, really uncertain and really, really uh, uh not something we know enough about or say not as much as we're pretending and and so i'm just sort of saying let's lean on all of these things a little less let's not make everything about these identity issues let's let's try not to lean as much as we are on them and try to get back to what i thought was the aim which was equal not better equal and focusing on the content of people's character Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah.